If you struggle with reading, using the Digital Main Library and other really text-heavy resources is probably not your favorite thing, but I'm going to show you today some tips to help make it easier. The first is, let's say your teacher assigns you to use this database in Context High School. One suggestion is to talk to them about if you could possibly use another one. In Context Middle School, for instance, has really similar stuff but is a little bit easier to read. So that's one option that you have is to choose a different database. But in all the databases, what you're searching works the same way. So I'll demonstrate it in In Context High School, but it will look the same if you decide to use the middle school product instead. So here's the search box, and I'm going to search for whatever it is that my assignment is. Um, I'm going to try searching for Wilma Rudolph because that is someone that I've just recently learned a lot about, and I think she's very interesting. So there's her name. It's going to search it. And you can see here I've got reference books, biographies, magazines, all different types of sources here. So one suggestion is if reading is not something that is easy for you to do, you can consider trying to see what they have for other options. So in this case, they have two audio programs and three images and three videos. So I would definitely check those out and see if you could use those. Audio, video, images are perfectly reliable sources, perfectly okay to use. But the time is probably going to come when you have to read something as well, so I'm going to show you how to make that doable. Thank you, Mr. Plourd. Do you hear him announcing the breakfast break? <laughs> I'm going to carry on. Okay, so I'm going to look through all the resources that I have and choose something that I might like to read. Now, they are giving me a cue right now about the level of these articles in this little thing that looks like a dice here. They call it the content level, and that means two different things. It means that how hard it is to read and also how in-depth they're going to go in their explanations. So five is the highest content level. So if reading is not my favorite or if I'm struggling with it, I'm probably not going to pick this article because it's the highest level that's in this whole database. I'm going to look for something else. So they're color coded, but also if you, colors you can't see, then they also have a number of dots. So this one's a four. That's better. This one is a three. That might be one that I would want to check out. So I'm going to try this article about Wilma Rudolph right here. It tells its content levels three. It's got 2,000 some words. It gives us a, a number called the Lexile measure. That's a reading level, and it says it's 1010. Um, it's not super important that you know the Lexile measure that you read at, but it is important that you know if you read this article and it's too easy or it's too hard, that you can look for something of a higher, higher Lexile would be harder, um, lower Lexile would be easier, so you can use that to kind of gauge if you think you're going to be able to read the article before you start. A few other things that you can do. This is a pretty long article, so you can use the article contents right here to shrink down the amount that you're going to actually have to read. So if, say, you're only interested in her comeback from her physical disability, she's such an amazing lady, um, she had polio as a child and wore leg braces and was barely able to walk and was very sickly, and she overcame that to become an Olympic medalist in running. Like, impossible. It's just an incredible story. So anyway, if you're focused on her comeback from her disability, if you click here, it's going to take you to just that part of the article. So you don't need to worry about reading the rest of it. You also can do a couple of other things. Up here at the top, there's a font size. If you make the font size larger, there's scientific evidence that this can help your brain process the information and look at the words and make sense of them better. So that's a little trick that you can use. Make the font size a little larger. Try to fool your brain. It just helps keep everything organized without the words being so crunched together. The other thing that you can do is click this button called listen and you can listen to the article and it will read it to you. Now it's a little bit of a robot type voice but not super bad, like not unlistenable. So you can plug in your headphones, you can click listen, and then you can use that time to take some notes, write down things that you find important. You can pause it as you go, you can go back over other parts, and even if there's just a certain part that you want it to read to, you can just highlight that part and click listen and it will read just that part for you so you don't have to listen to the whole thing or wait for it to go through the whole thing to get to the part that you need read to you. 
So all of those are really helpful tips. I hope that they've helped you figure out how to use a product like In Context to help you even if the content is a little hard for you to read. So remember the first suggestion was to try the middle school database instead. That's totally um, something that you can do. The second one is to look at your results and see the results that you have that don't involve any reading or not much reading like audio, images, and videos. Another thing is something like a magazine is a lot easier to read than an academic journal. Academic journals can be pretty tough, but magazines usually are for a mass market audience. They're going to be more of an everyday person's reading level. The next one we talked about was using this little color-coded dice-looking symbol to try to get the content level lower so that it's easier for you to read. And then when you're in the article, we looked at changing the text size and we looked at using the listen feature. One last thing is that you can filter your results by content level, so have it show you only the level 3s or level 2s, whatever you choose. And you can filter by Lexile, so if you do happen to know what your Lexile is, you can tell it, I only want these specific styles and it will apply that and it will give you things that are more at your level. If you are still struggling, please come to the library or email, talk to myself, talk to Mrs. Brenner, let us help you find something that you can use so that you can still be successful. Thank you so much. I hope this was helpful for you and you have an awesome day and just crush this project.